that some of the players are confused about what is happening and he has lost elements of the dressing room. Uh, one source telling me that he's lost about 50% of the dressing room. Uh, quite a few players are unhappy with the style of play. They also feel that they're training too hard and they're running too much during training. First, it was Louis van Gaal. Then, it was the turn of Jose Mourinho. Before long, it was the turn of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. In the middle there somewhere was Ralph Ragnick. Now they have begun with Eric Ten Hag. What is the point of this you may ask? Well, Manchester United has got a Manchester United player problem. Say what you want, but we have all seen this movie before. Pep Guardiola Jurgen Klopp, Zinedine Zidane, Carlo Ancelotti, Julian Nagelsmann, Thomas Tuchel, Eddie Howe. It doesn't matter who is the coach, these United players will revert to type. And what did Roy Keane once say, which remains true to this day? These are the same players that true Marino under the bus and they will do exactly the same to Oli. Leopards don't change their spots. There's too many bluffers at this club to get United back to the very top. The fish rots from the head, right? Well, these Manchester United players are just following examples set inside the institution. For as long as they can get away with this, they will continue getting away with this. Say what you want about Eric Ten Hag, but the problem remains the same. The club is structurally damaged. Oh, and also a word of advice to Manchester United's toxic and divided fan base on social media. Backing one player over a manager helps no one. No one. No one is bigger than the club. You're going to learn the hard way. For, for 10 months, the media asked me, why always Lukaku? Why always Lukaku? Why always Lukaku? Why always this player? Why always this player? Oh, poor, that guy doesn't have a chance to start. Oh, poor, the other one is always on the bench. You know why, no?